seven day C9 life has gotten so boring and drawn out and watered down. I'm done with it, I'm over it, it's cut, it's done, it's out the window. C9 Live Weekly, new, bringing you content in a brand new format in an exciting, valuable way. Let's get into it. Some days you might take a leap forward, other days you might move a centimeter. It doesn't matter, every day is a step forward towards your goals. What are you doing every single day towards your goals? That's what will bring you success. Oh, all right. Was that a sick ass intro? That was, wasn't it? As you can guess, I'm going to a new concept. Gary V actually did this at the first of the year, and I actually saw how he did it, and I've been wanting and thinking about doing this since probably a year now, but I just never knew how to structure or do anything but doing weekly vlogs, where it's every single day, but just once a week uploaded, especially for me out here, so I'm going to call it C9 Life Weekly. And this will be episode one. But yeah, I because my slow internet out here, like especially with putting the laptop back there, it makes it so much more uh, sucks all the internet, uploading videos. So doing them every day is so hard because then it doesn't allow me to do business and other stuff. So just compiling short clips. And plus when I'm doing the same crap every single day, like I'm sending out proposals, I'm making phone calls, I'm doing just the same repetitive shit. You know, that way I can just like maybe show you guys some different workouts, show you guys like somewhat to do it in the office, some ideas, a little bit of stuff, you know, that I'm working on, that I've tips or tricks that I find. Just, you know, maybe a couple minute just recaps of each day. Like literally it is midnight and I'm just not getting to you guys because I've been in the office 10, 11, 12 hours a day. And I've been out here, she watched TV, watched movies, everything else. Let's show you. Bam. I even brought the heater in here. And it's in bed, so I better try to be quiet about the heater in here. I've been on my laptop all day. I've got different things figured out. I got a new uh, Canva. I figured out how to do um, custom thumbnails. It's going slow because I'm uploading videos. When I finally got IGTV, get on Instagram stories and our Instagram TV. Get, I found out how to upload those, so I'm getting all those done. Yeah, there's Cabana, how to make different videos. Uh, I've been knocking out videos so you can kind of see. Like the thumbnails that I've been creating. Bam, making them, getting up there in Professionalville. And then Facebook. So Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. <sighs> Uploading so many things and I found out that like Instagram TV, I tried doing all this stuff. Found out that Google Chrome was not allowing me to do it, so I had to switch everything over to Firefox. I've been running Firefox, and it makes my computer and internet tabs run faster and quicker, so that's awesome. My battery's getting low, so I just wanted to give a quick recap and welcome. Hope you guys like the intro. I created this, so hopefully this new intro and this new concept is going to be great, so I can only upload once a week, not killing my internet and stressing me out because I'm doing these every day and getting caught up. You guys see I get 20 some days behind at times so this will take a load off me give you guys better more in-depth content content and thank you Gary V this whole reason I started my vlog and thank you for showing me a way and mindset you know to get onto weekly so it's not weekly V like Gary V it's CNN life weekly because you're gonna live your cloud nine life every single week after week after week after week you gotta get it. C9 Life, Cloud9 Life, L Y F E. Live you, forget everything. Alright, you guys got some a little something today. A little being me in the office, getting stuff done. Got the next set of thumbnails done today. Got some phone calls done. Knocked out a. Yeah, I'm working out. Get a little elliptical time with you. But, um,. One of the videos I uploaded last night to Facebook, didn't want to go, blah, blah, blah. So I was trying to redo that, but then I got Instagram going and 22 minute long video and this shitty, great, phenomenal internet out here takes forever. So I'm trying to knock this stuff out and get done what I can today. Uh, this last night I did put a, what was a rump roast or some Pike's Peak in the uh, crock pot and did that overnight. So that was done in the morning. Made some noodles, did that all up in containers, good to go. I do have a turkey set out in the uh, beer fridge over there. 
I'm going to make turkey here in the next couple days. Supposed to be a ton of snow and everything these next couple days, like three days. Snow, ice, and rain. But uh, I had a guy that I know on Facebook. He makes his own beard oil. You can see how I'm just kind of like light here on the side. You can't see that way. But I'm always just been kind of light on the sides of my face. And I don't know how beard oils work, but he's a guy, Fonzo. I'm like, well, hell, I need a haircut, Matt. He says, if you get a haircut, without just plain, it's $25, $20 if you get a haircut. Um, haircut and tr beard trim, it's only $15, but he'll get them in next week. It's like, cool, if I get a haircut and then a pre-order for the beard oil, I can get that in. So I'm going to get my haircut tomorrow, maybe a little beard trim, and get his opinion on that. And New guy, he's local, so I like it. Had something going on with my, the light wasn't coming on on my garage door opener, so I don't know what was up with that. But, uh, it's kind of working on that. So I'm not going to things to the office as much as I can. Going to get a quick workout in, a shower before Hannah gets home. And then, uh, end up having a good day. So, yeah, keep after what you got to do. I'm just trying to figure out the, the real daily things I want to do each day with uh, Seen on Life Weekly. Get a little bit different content and stuff and maybe to approach some other businesses and just maybe some other stuff. They're in with maybe other people or collabs or I'm gonna start doing things different. So I gotta figure out my rhythm, just like I'm getting this rhythm on this treadmill. And I'll probably just show you guys my uh, speed it up quick ab workout I'm gonna do and the push-ups and a little bit of squats I'm gonna do. Show you guys a quick workout. Knock out five minutes on the elliptical here. And I'll show you guys all that. And I'll do it two times. Take with it. Run with it. Get it done. You gotta make changes. You gotta start. Wednesday morning. All right, we're after it now. I'm. I got motivation. I got fire in my ass. All because of why. I'll tell you guys why real quick. Um, video started going great last night, but I uh, kept telling Hannah we were telling last night. Ooh, sorry, back up. Um, they couldn't fix my movement for my grandfather clock, so it's coming. They shipped me out a new one today, so that's great. Bam. They called me yesterday. Told me that. But last night I was telling Hannah, you know, she was like, I was talking about C9 Life, like how I've been doing my thumbnails, and she's like. What about like your logo? And I'm like, well, I had a shirt, you know, way back when, when I did how we made that one with the C, the nine was inside the C and all that. And I never really just liked that logo and just never ran with it, never had it excited. And I couldn't for the life of me ever figure it out. So Hannah was getting on last night and tried to figure out, um, like, uh, on one of her, you know, try to figure out, you know, how to make like the logo or something like this. And then it got me on Canva because Canva, remember how I do the thumbnails now on Canva? So I got the app for that. So I was like, well, let me get on the app and do that. And dude, last night I spent like two hours probably messing with this and everything. I came up with it. I got it. Ah, I came up with the new C9 Life logo. It is sick. Look at that. Got a blue. It's hard to see in this contrast. Maybe if I can do a light off just doesn't show here yeah there you go a little better but you see the arrow is blue the c9 is blue and the life is like white and I also have another one where bam then I have the other one for like white where it's the same thing and that's just how it looks so that's just sicker than shit but I was able to even put it on my uh, See if this will pop up. I I edited one of my thumbnails. Oh, let's delete. Sorry, this is a mess. I gotta get the heck out of here. I got things to do today. Let's just move this whole thing. Well, never mind. You can kind of see it. Basically, I got my thumbnail. And I moved it where I got my logo. I can put my logo on my thumbnails now. 
So bam, freaking awesome. Sweeter than shit. So I got all that done now. Um, I'm gonna go to 8.20. I'm gonna have to leave about 8.30 or so and go to my uh, haircut and beard appointment with Fonzo, see what I can get there. I'm gonna try to get a lot more content for you guys, a lot more specific content, that's great, but I've been getting these vlogs done. I'm gonna meet up and maybe start getting uh, shirts done because I need a logo. I need a logo for you now. And I have all of these, like in my phone, I have this app that I have literally, not an app, but I have a uh, notes in my phone that I have all of these, um, you know, like for seen on life apparel look at all this look at all these like bullets or seen on life like they're like slogans and like logos that I'd want to do with shirts and everything and I just needed a logo you know to go with it now I got it which is great because I'm gonna give you a brief the arrow see how it starts basically it's like a big hump so to get over everything in life forward you know you're gonna have to cross some hurdles you're gonna have to cross some humps in life there's going to be hurdles you're going to have to jump over. But, you know, the C9, it's cloud nine. So that's why it's in blue. Life, live, you, forget everything. So basically, the blue arrow is blue. Because, so to get to your cloud nine life, you're going to have to live, you, forget everything. And that's how you get to the other side. And that's how you get to your cloud nine life. It's perfect. It's great. It's awesome. And the C9, and I used the list, uh, logo, how it's like broken up in there. Because not every plan is going to be, you know, solid and bulletproof. You're going to have holes in your stuff, and you're going to have to just figure it out along the way. You know, as long as you have a majority of it, just figure it out as go. Remember, my go and grow method. It all fits perfect. It's great. Took two years, it seems like, to finally get it. But now that I got it, it's great. I'm going to run with it. So I figured out how to do stickers, how to do shirts. So I'm going to maybe start getting maybe some stuff made. But I got laundry rolling. I need to get changed, teeth brushed. Need to get ready to head out. Woo! Yeah, baby! Alright, we all done. Come on, plug yourself. What you got? This is my name's Lonzo. I appreciate this brother for coming to see me. The conversation? That was it too? The conversation was amazing. Check out my man's vlog. He's amazing. Brother John. I you appreciate you. Gotta share you. my stuff. Now plug yourself. Look at this. Look at this fade. I did. Here, here. I did. I there did hook that Come up. On, get, get my hair. Get my yeah. hair. My everything. Hey, check go. that out. I did hook that up. Yeah, that's all me right there. That's my work right there. New haircut. Got the beard trim. Got his his what? His beard. What did I mean? What did I hit you up my for? Fonzarelli fades famous beard oil. Your beard oil. You're Coming gonna have next it in Tuesday. Tuesday. So he got mm -hmm. me some already. Put me in here. So John. you're gonna see this all all luscious and thick. Yeah. It'll be good. All because oh, yeah. of the homie here. Because he added me on Facebook a long time ago, and I saw his post. Because he's marketing himself That's on right. social media. That's right. I saw him there. And the biggest thing that changed everything was he's not doing somebody else's beard oil. It's his own. He made it. He made it. So that's what yeah. made me hit him up. So now I got me a new barber and got my beard oils. So stay local. You got to represent. All the time. And everybody else here at, where are we at? Maestro Cuts. Maestro Cuts. That's my brother Omar. We got that's Omar. my brother Antoine. That's my brother Luis. He's, he's growing a mullet. You know what I'm saying? Woo! <laughs> Hold it. There it is. He didn't hear none of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually better that way, ain't it? It's always better that way. <laughs> Plugging away. <laughs> We're down here at what? 3110. 3110 Southwest 29th. Maestro Cuts. Come see us. Done. Let's get out of here. All right, we're done with Shannon. All right, well, plug yourself. Where are you at and what do you do? LBM Solutions, signs, printing, graphics. Whatever you want your name on, we do it. What else do you do? And I'm a real estate agent. What is it? Give them some good information. With Eck Real Estate, KS Homes, the number four sale.com. Bam, right there. Shannon Angler, hit her up. Topeka and everywhere else. I got stickers ordered here. They're gonna be on its way, 50 of them. Shannon's always the hookup. I always followed her wherever she goes. She's the best, she's awesome. Excited about everything else. Getting t-shirts on the way. And hopefully you'll be my go-to when you get stuff up and going. She's always motivated, always coming up with new things. She's the best. Thank you. Yo, today has been a day. It's busy, it's four o'clock. I'm just now getting home. After all, Shannon, I ran to like five different stores that I didn't tell you. I ran to Target. I got at Target. I got some, let's show you, I got some loofahs, that was neat, I got some cotton balls, which is always just great to have, because every now and then you need them, I got some combs, because he wanted uh, me to get like a comb that he did with my hair, that was like 
took her space to part, but this is like a value pack, and I think it found like one or two in there that I want, but never have too many combs. And then um, some of this is what Hannah has been putting in her coffee. Premier, Premier Protein, the caramel. So I picked up some more because I knew she was out. And then uh, cotton, um, those pads or cotton pads, whatever they call them. Cotton rounds, wow, weird. But um, yeah, then I popped over to Dollar Tree because I was looking for those, like, my slippers. Ah! I don't know why this is such a difficult task to find is my my freaking slippers that are, um, I don't know, it's just hard to explain them. They're my, they're like slides, but they're like fabric with rubber, like on the bottom. They're my favorite things in the world, but they're getting so worn out. I went to five different places and couldn't find TJ Maxx, Dollar Tree, Ross Dress for Less, Shoe Carnival, Brown Shoe Fit, like, and nobody has anything like that. Crazy. But what I did find at Ross that I happened to walk by, what, what? Those Under Armour shoes. Those blue, found them in like my size. 32 bucks. Those are like $50, $70 shoes. More like 70 so. But remember, my red ones that I have, they're the same exact ones. They're the Under Armour in red. So I wanted a blue pair and they had them. Freaking perfect. Dollar General, Dollar Tree. I snagged some more combs because that actually has like one that I really do want. And hell, it's a dollar. I found some of these brushes, long handle brushes, which will be great for, I needed some more. Look at all these things I got. I got these brushes. I need all this stuff for like carpets because I don't have any. I haven't had any for a long time and I found like, I got so many cleaning brushes. But I literally got two of each. I think I spent like 12 bucks there. But yeah, these tiny little brushes and like the bigger ones and the hands. Because I mean, I just need the bigger ones, especially if like shampoo, like this type of stuff. You have to put the foam down, then you have to scrub it with a, uh, you have to actually like work it in. But then I also use these like clean the boat, you know, like um, fabric and everything. So I finally, since I found them, but I also want that. Like, so I got one. So each one, one is for the shop. And the other one's for the house. Shop, house, shop, house. So I got two of each thing. Like I said, I spent nothing while I was there. Then I went to Cadoba and I redeemed uh, two entrees because I called Shannon at Logan Business Machines who we just left. And she, um, I was like, hey, you have any lunch? She's like, no, I'm like, what do you want? I'm gonna go to Cadoba. So I got her, what she didn't tell you was I got her, because we always talk about going to lunch. I got her a, um, a quesadilla. When I got a burrito, we sat there and ate and I got ordered um, stickers. I ordered stickers there, and she can't do anything for shirts, not near what I could get where I'm at before. So I called that dude, and uh, I'm going to send him the logos, the shirts that I want, the size. But I need to call, I had to call my buddy Nate, who lives in Wichita. Remember that first C9 Live shirt that I got? The one of one, the prototype that I gave to him. So I don't even have the very first logo that I tried to create. But I need to see what the tag is. He called me, but he's going to be home in like an hour or two. So he's going to call me back. We had a great 45-minute conversation. But he's going to come back and he gets home and let me know what that is. So I'll send that email to that guy. And he's going to make me some of those shirts. And then they can get progress. And you guys can start buying shirts. Get that stuff off. And I'm probably going to release a new shirt with a new logo and a new slogan every single month. So that'll be great. I need to get a win-win Wednesday done for today. I need to get that loaded and everything. So I need to make a... Uh, 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 an intro, you know, for Win Win Wednesday. Got to get that compiled. I got to make a thumbnail for this. I got a shit ton of stuff to do. Been busy as hell. Got everything done. So I just need to shut up, get all this stuff put away, get some more laundry done, everything else. Rock and flow and going. We're going. This new haircut, this beard, this beard oil, everything's just going good. Great people, amazing people today, working with stuff, getting stuff in motion, getting stuff flowing. Going and growing, baby. Let's get after it. TBS, think, be, stay positive every single day, every way. Just get rocking. It's time to put, I ain't going to let no more grass grow under my feet. There's a fire lit under my ass, and I'm going to take off like a rocket. All right, all right. It's easy Thursday morning. I've been kicking ass. It's about 12.51. I need to do a workout real quick. I've been banging out everything in the office. So I'm just giving you a quick little update. Sent out proposal follow-ups. I've been doing uh, vlogs, trying to get. I'm trying to get these things done and caught up. They're not as long, so that's great. I did do my stretches and everything this morning for my fingers. I got physical therapy at two o'clock, so I wanted to really make sure to get that done. 
I need to work out. I did call uh, insurance for my accident. The insurance is about to be, they said uh, it's in its final stages, so that's awesome. That is freaking great that I can uh, be just about done with those with those um, insurance claims. So it'll be done, then everything gets paid out and everything, so all these bills quit you know, calling me and everything. So I called Stormont, the hospital, to let them know that, hey, it's going to be done, but I only have two things that are, might get sucked and sent to collections on February 6th. So by the time I get what I need to get done with the, uh, uh, I get the... The stuff, the things, the um, the payments done and everything. If I get them, you know, in the next week, great, cool. Then I'll just, you know, pay and do what I need to do. If not, they don't because they were supposed to reimburse me. Then I'll just take care of it myself, and then I'll just do that. Just trying to do it easiest, best way I can. So I'm gonna bang out a quick workout since I didn't get any in yesterday because I was so dang busy. So I'm gonna bang out two workouts today. So I'm gonna work out, shower, get ready. Oh, my hair has been phenomenal. Feels so awesome and great. I even showered last night and put in conditioner. It lays just how I need to, so I'm gonna get out of the shower, bang that, and I need to stop by collection agency to drop off some paperwork for people that have the collections. I need to sign, drop off to them, and physical therapy. And I can't remember what I'm gonna do afterwards, but we'll figure it out. But I need to get all this other stuff done, caught up, knocking it out. When on Wednesday was phenomenal last night. Great making those new titles and everything, so. Woo! I still feel resistance yeah, here. Yeah, but it gets, it's mostly just the in between my splints. Like after my splints, or during my splints, it's just looser than, looser than anything. It is? Oh yeah, it's just looser than hell. Yeah. But it's just like, you know, the few hours in between. And it's been a while since you had it on. 11 o'clock, so. Yeah. I would recommend the three times a day. Yeah, I'm gonna, I was okay. thinking about three Hold. because I've really noticed. Relax. And so when you do do this, go ahead, do it again. When you do do it, don't I don't let it hit the palm. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, is, because is, you're gonna you're gonna hold it. Yeah, I this. can I can literally yeah, if I just dig so, it into my palm, I can yep. hold it there all day so long. Ready? Hold, hold. Yeah, I'm trying. Relax. Yeah, I'm trying to. That's the hardest thing is focusing on not throwing them into my palm. All of them. Hold. Okay. And long this one too. Get those in. Hold. Because I really notice like that. I mean, remember keeping it down? That's me like curling. You want to take a, you want to take a measurement today? Or yeah, you feel like that's me curling as hard as I can. And I'm not, you know how that would just pop up like so nothing? Yeah, you couldn't keep it on no, the table. No, and I can't. To bring it up is hard. Like, right. I can, I'm, you see me shaking because I'm literally curling as hard as I can and it's keeping it on the table. So that's really doing this one is just what I've, I've been doing this a lot more so I think that's really what's been helping like especially like my mind and that connection of not popping that one up like I used to and then ultimately the goal will be to do it in the fist yeah. position just to get Make it sense yeah all the way over and then but don't neglect your yeah. extension all right quick little recap it's 11 o'clock and bam after what what did I do oh physical therapy oh I ran to Walmart and I finally made the Made the trek. I got some new house slippers. Bam, these are like big old comfort soles. Big old rubber on the bottom. The padding is like that thick in there, really comfortable. Made the flashy fan news. Got juice, got some carrots, or not carrots, but I got celery and some other stuff from Walmart. Got all that stuff done, then I hit up Ray, because I was like, oh shit, it was after 4 o'clock, so I figured he was done, so I went to Ray, and I hung out with Ray for probably 3 hours in his garage while he worked out. I did a little bit of a workout with him, and a lady came over that uh, he was going to train, and we had a really good conversation, because she's really into positivity as well, because Ray's like, hey dude, you guys are both really into positivity, and spreading all that motivation, so she's like, you guys need to talk, so we were talking, and doing all that, and didn't even took my camera in to his garage, and never vlogged a single thing, so, too big no bag just when you're getting into having good conversations and everything and just in the moment just live in the moment no big deal then I came back did my exercises again for my hand John was saying this is probably Monday will be the last time we're going to physical therapy he's like everything else we're just going to do I'll just do until April 1st he's like like the splint and the pushing on your fingers and everything he's like April 1st you know no more after that because he said you know 
we're just getting the most we can out of your ligaments and your muscles, but until then it won't help anything after that. But he said, if you continually do that, it'll break down the cartilage in the joints. And he said, that's not repairable. So we need to watch out for that. So basically just Monday will be my last checkup. And Thursday is the thing with Dr. Roman where hopefully he'll just clear me and be done and good. And physical therapy done. So after Monday, it'll be a little heartbreak. I'll have to do a good little goodbye with John on here. Um, came back home and I just been talking going over things I'm still prepping planning I didn't do any other videos tonight I'm probably just gonna shut the computer down done and just get up early tomorrow and just start banging them out I got the chiropractor in the morning other stuff so that's a quick little recap time to go Woo! That Friday morning look at that look at that hair look at that a little bit just combed it I didn't take a shower last night so I just Still had a little bit of putty in my hair, so I just whoosh, whoosh, swooshed with a little comb. Oh, beautiful as ever. Loving it if you can't tell. Man, you see what it did last night? We got a little bit of snow. It didn't cover all the grass, but ugh, looks like the ponds froze all on top. Um, shit, I stayed up until like 1 a.m. Quit looking. Because I wanted to bang out, you know, get another video uploaded. Just trying to get these done as quick as possible. But also, after I went to Walmart, see something I got? I got one of the command strips. That's what I've been hanging everything with is the command strips. So I'm going to get... I didn't have the right one that goes to the back. I don't. I, I couldn't figure out what it was, so I didn't want to buy one. So I'm going to put that right underneath. It's my honorable discharge when I get out of the military. This was my hometown hero salute from the military for being deployed and you know, operating out of a forward base so kick ass there i'm gonna start getting another video uploaded because i uploaded or I, I edited two last night so i can just get those done and rocking i got phone calls today to insurance i got uh proposals follow-up i think i'm gonna change my email so here's a big thing i'm gonna go business wise you know instead of following like sending follow-up emails for yahoo just you just have, you have to follow send a follow-up email but you gmail you have email tracking to where it has a check mark if it was sent and it'll have two check marks when it's seen or when somebody reads it when they open it so that way you can know that and then send a follow-up email like three days later exactly so I'm gonna look into my Google account and you know sign for Gmail but the only bad thing is with the business cards I have they're all yahoo.com but I don't really care for the, these business cards terribly that I have because they didn't come out exactly right as the people want described see it has that dark line through there so it kinda makes it a little blurry but gray and they're just like kind of paper kind of crap but yeah at yahoo so but you know if i do change the gmail i gotta change the email address and all kinds of things i guess i could leave the yahoo and as things come in then you know just make sure to go to that and click it over to gmail but that's neither here nor there but i got chiropractor at 9 30 so i'm gonna get this video uploading and doing what i can before i gotta go there we're in a walmart i'm gonna get a different command strip you know after that and then Probably come home, finish the video so I can get another one going. And then so I can make a couple phone calls. Then I'm probably going to run maybe to the Logan Business Machine to see Shannon again for the uh, business cards. You know, maybe to do that. And, well, I gotta, I'm got i going to make up like a flyer to put in with my proposals to send stuff out. I need to go to the public library, sign up and get a card there. Because for some other business stuff that I'm going to show you guys, like, ah, there's so much stuff to do. Not enough time. That's why I'm excited to go to bed so I can sleep, so I can get up the next day. Do us all again. Do something you love and you're passionate about and what gets you excited. It took me so much. It's tight, so drop, drop, drop. Drop that down. There we go. Nice. Ah, fuck. That's bad. Yeah, that's good. Good. All right, and chiropractor. Ooh, you heard that. That middle of that back was locked up. All feel way better now literally and I'm about to go do something I never thought I was gonna do check it out I'm walking into the stop real quick Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library I'm gonna get a library card and why is that you ask hmm, wait and find out it's really neat
dear lord two days in a row with shannon now yay what what i get i got redo business cards instead of my <laughs> crappy ass business cards so we're gonna have some new sweet ass ones what else did you make me buy we bought it i bought my domain instead of need fitness which is twenty six hundred dollars to needfitness.com twenty six hundred dollars shannon was like why don't you get needfitnessllc.com it was what 10 bucks yeah so i got all that and i got email set up so now it's jgaber at needfitnessllc.com so look how professional it is man shannon you, you turn, i got my new hair hey you're turning me into a professional Yay. little person over here not too awesome professional because we like to have fun together that's at least true <laughs> yeah like that then i'm going to make some flyers throw in different stuff and i got homework to do you're making yes, you always you do. work hey we're gonna and i was all, I already, already didn't have enough hours in the day but awesome friend <laughs> great person goes the extra mile that's why I always deal with her, and that's why I followed you. Thank you. It's because Thank of her. You. Really appreciate that. Holy shit, I think I've done three days worth of stuff just today, and it is just now 5, 10 p.m. Holy crap. I don't even know where I started. I got the other, you know, hangers. When I got one to Walmart, bam, got my honorable discharge one hung up, and I even got some other command strips. The little tiny ones, but I had to make the whole punch bigger for the calendar my aunt does for our family back in Pennsylvania. So I got that up. Look at my office just coming together all nice and neat. What? What? That is perfect. And the best thing that guys love is command strips. Or they're just sticky. They just pull right off. Don't damage the wall. They're not holes in the walls. Guys love that, especially when they have wives or girlfriends or fiancés that nag them to hang stuff up. And they want to put holes in the wall because they're a pain in the ass to, you know, fill back in. But... So yes, I you know I got the new needfitnessllcwebsite.com. So I got the email that goes with it. So now the email is gonna be so much more professional. It's jgaber at needfitnessllc.com. So that's awesome. I still need to settle it up. I came home and I was like, oh, what do I need to do? Crap, need to call my insurance to figure out about that MRI and everything else. Dude, like three hours later, I got put to like five different apartments. I ended up getting the number of the regional sales girl, told her what was going on. Then she called with me on a merged call to the, back to the, the main line, to the customer service. She talked to a specific like higher up manager there. So then she wasn't there. So she called me, left my, I left a voice where I left my information. She called me back in like 10 minutes, which was awesome because I was hanging my pictures up. And she got back with me and basically saying, she's like, hey, um, Basically, all my coverage and everything is good. It's just I don't have that, that net of that accident protector like I did. You know, I was going to be good without doing that, that bump up to that major medical because my, but when they took the pins out, it was considered another surgery. So then they were going to have to, um, you know, I bumped up. But that one time bump up to major medical was one time ever for the life of the plane. You can't ever do it again. So I hope I never would have to. So I was like, maybe do I need to find another supplemental? So blah, 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 all this other insurance crap. But she told me, I was like, well, with my surgery, I need to figure out what am I going to do with my shoulder? The MRI's coming up. She's like, man, it's 4200 bucks, and they only cover $550 of it. So she was like, and I said, through a hospital? She's like, I'm like, yeah. She's like, dude, she's like, go with a private radiology. You know, that will do it. She's like, they're a fraction of the price because you're paying for hospital prices and hospital, like for the actual hospital. So she was like, no. She's like, it'll be like a thousand twelve hundred bucks maybe and we cover 550 of that so that'd be way down so i called cancel that mri the lady completely understood she's like yeah i don't blame you doing all that so then got that figured out so now and i called lepsy's office enough to call me back because whenever i do find the lady actually told i'm going all over the place i'm sorry but it's just so exciting because you need to know this shit if you don't know your insurance if you're going to assume i got so many different answers That's why i called somebody that i just had a gut feeling that i wasn't getting the direct right answers the lady told me you know, they always told me my shoulder wasn't, it was, I already used my surgery. This, the lady told me, she was like, no, under an accident is uh, the accident that happens while you're under the coverage of our plan. Well, my shoulder happened like 12 years ago. So she's like, no, that will be under a sickness. Well, you haven't used your sickness benefit um, for this year. So the surgery would be covered and it would be, you know, they'd be able to tell me when I figured out the surgery code what it be under. So I'm like, oh, that is awesome. That's great to know. So I learned all kinds of great, phenomenal things. Ask questions. I wasn't getting the right direct answers. So I called shit. I was on the phone for like two hours, aggravated, mad, but I, I'm not conveying that to them because I'm, I'm asking them for help. When you're calling somebody, a provider or something, because you need help or issues, don't be pissed off and treat the service provider like shit. That's just dumb. That is shitty on your part. And they're always like, thank you for being so patient and figuring all this out. So I got it. That's great. So now I just need to find that she sent me a pamphlet over to go online 
and I can actually put in a search for radi private radiologies, you know, in an area around me, so then I can call them that uh, room with but within my PPO network, my plan. So I'm like, that is awesome. So I'll get in and do that. I got the videos finally going. Instagram has been a pain in the ass doing that. So I got on the phone with that. Now let's back up one more time. We're, we're not going to back. We're going to go forward. We're going to back real quick because I got a couple days ago this thing in the mail about like a GMC terrain. It's a class action lawsuit saying that, hey, uh, for excessive oil consumption of a vehicle, of a like a train, it's a uh, coverage for an extended seven years or six months, seven years, six months, or 120,000 miles, whichever comes first. So I'm like, shit, that would be like maybe June of this year for my vehicle. And I was like, well, let me go check the oil. So I went out and checked the train's oil, and it's not even on the dipstick. But I looked, I, I changed them all every 5,000 because I do a lot more city, like highway driving. So... For 69,000 is when I changed it. It's at 74 now, so I'm right where I need an oil change. And I'm not even reading on the dipstick, so I'm like, hmm. So I called Ed Bozart to see the Chevrolet dealership to see what they do about, because though it's for excessive piston ring wear, so they can replace all that, you know, if it's under that warranty. Then I was like, so what do we need to do, like, if that needs to be happening? He said, we'll do an oil consumption test. He said, you have to pay for an oil change there, then you, uh, well, I thought the oil was on the bottom of the dipstick, so I'm going to note that. So then he was like, you have to pay for an oil. I was like, how much is an oil change? He's like, 70 bucks. I'm like, dude, to do it myself, it's like 30 bucks. I'm like, that's what sucks about that. And he's like, then what you do every 1,000 miles, you bring it back in. They check it, record on it, on the uh, like what it is, you know, consumption. They top it off or whatever, and then you drive another 1,000 miles. But I wanted to figure out. So that's how they do the test. And I'm like, okay. Well, whatever. So I'm like, no, piss on all that. I like it. He's like, well, bottom of the dipstick, you know, is like two quarts low for 5,000. You know, that's, you know, fine. He's like, that's just, you know, that should be all right. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go check again. So I went up to the train. I checked like six, seven times in a row, and it wasn't even on the dipstick at all. I think it was just picking up a little residual on the tube. So I'm like, ooh, you know what? 70, so I have, I have two and a half months to get to where it's still like under that warranty if it is. So it's cold outside and I need an oil change. So like, hey, I'm gonna pay 30 bucks for an oil change, but an extra $40 if I pay it, you know, 70 bucks, then they'll do the oil consumption test. And if it proves to be within the limits, you know, of that, they'll replace my piston rings and that'll make that vehicle last way even longer because it'll be getting like all these new internal parts. And if it's not, great. I didn't, I, 40 bucks and me not changing the oil in the shop, you know, when it's cold crawling on the floor. You know, maybe not such a bad deal. So I scared, I called back, and I was like, all right, dude. Okay, sorry, I jumped. I was like, so he, I gave him the VIN number. I was like, when was my vehicle, like, made? That's when they need, that goes off the seven or six months. He said, you come up on April 23rd of 2020. So I have two and a half months until that extended, like, class action lawsuit warranty is not covered. So I'm like, yeah, two and a half months, because I did one thing on my Cadillac for, and this is why I'm telling all you guys this stuff, because you need to pay attention to what I've done, because I've had this happen before. My Cadillac, all of a sudden, just wouldn't start one time in Kansas City. You know, blah, blah, blah. I got it towed back here and everything, and found out that there was an extended warning up to like 110,000 miles for some, or a timing chain uh, jumping and causing internal failure. And I ended up finding that that's what it was, and it was covered under it. They had my vehicle for three days, tearing the engine all apart and everything, and it was free to me. I But I looked, I saw the bill that they sent to insurance, you know, for that lawsuit. It was $16,000. $16,000. But it was free to me because I found out that that warranty and I researched. So if you have something and a shop figures out what it is, sometimes your best interest to do a little research on Google because that's what the shop did. They're like, man, I thought I remember hearing something about a timing chain doing this and pulling this code and everything. He found it on Google, that shop did, and told me about it. And that's how I found out and saved myself 16000 really of just pretty much buying a new vehicle at that point. So the train, I'm like, you know what? It's better off ahead. So I set up an appointment at 9 a.m. Monday morning. I'm going to get the oil changed on it with them. They're going to, you know, document when they did it every 1,000 miles. I'm going to make sure to drive it more. So every 1,000 miles, I'm going to pop back over there, have them check it, record it. If it's all great, good, awesome, great. No big deal. Better safe than sorry because two and a half month window I have, if it is found bad, they get they get to replace all those internal parts that are bad. It's free. I have 72,000, 74,000 miles on the vehicle, so that will last me, you know, a hell of a lot longer. It's just better to be safe than sorry. 
So the insurance and all that, got everything else filled out. I got to make a couple more phone calls, some phone paperwork. I'm going to get online and start reaching like the radiology places. Um, shit, I don't even know. I don't even know if I'm telling you guys everything that I've gotten so much done. It's just been rock and rolling. I need to get the internet, uh, the stuff set up. I need to get a little bit because uh, I have a free web builder for my needfitnessllc.com. So I have a free web builder until like mid uh, February. So I need to get that set up and then I get the email set up. But the cool thing about getting the website with that, it gives me all the Office, Microsoft Office programs with the email for it. So I get Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, like all that stuff. And the email associated with my domain is $14.99 a month. So it's like $120 a year. When I've looked up Microsoft Word in a package before, it was like four or $500. So that makes it way worth it and it looks a lot more professional. I'll show you guys some things that I'm where I'm changing when you know like from the business cards to like my new ones and just the mindset. It's just showing you guys the different mentality with corporations and how you have to think and how you have to change and adapt. Spend 10 minutes, me japping your ears off, but I hope you guys take this and pay attention to this shit. It's not just me blabbling about like personal stuff. This can happen to you. If you don't you know know your insurance coverage or you're suing or something, you can get major, you know, medical debt. If you have something like this where it's going to cost you an extra $40 what it normally would for an old change and you have two months, you know what, just do it for peace of mind. If it checks out good, great. Peace of mind. If it doesn't, you're going to save yourself thousands of dollars. Save yourself money. Do the little extra research. Maybe pay the little extra money. Make smart decisions. Don't take the easy way out because usually the easy way will end up biting you in the ass. C9 Life Weekly. Coming to you now, brand new, brand improved, <laughs> making stuff up, trying to figure it out. Pow, <laughs> caught you. Let's watch. C9 Life Weekly. It's fishing the. the, the, the. Okay. Do you have the right bait? Do you have the right equipment? Am I talking about fishing? Am I talking about hunting? Am I talking about making things better? C9 Life is stripping down and cutting out all the bullshit. C9 Life. I'm just tired of being bold, boring. Seeing our life is changing. It's old, boring, drawn out, worn out content for the past thousand plus videos. It's going to become more bold, in your face, informative, valuable, bringing you all this new content in a brand new way.